My name is Bill. I'm in unit number 74 and it's currently at a uh, part-time. Fantastic. Hmm. And uh, before you uh, purchased at Riverbound, uh, you have been a resident of Lake Havasu. You've uh, had a, a, a home there for at least a couple of years that I know of. Yes, yeah, so it'll be five years this December. Excellent. How do you like living in Havasu? I love it. It's the best thing I ever, best move I ever made. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, let me ask you this, Phil. Before moving into your unit at Riverbound, uh, what were you originally looking for? Uh, were you looking for a, an, an RV park type environment? Uh, were you looking for something that you could just kind of go to and and store your items at? Um, what exactly was on your menu before you pulled the trigger at Riverbound? Well, originally I was looking for an investment and uh, you contact, contacted me and told me about this project that was going on and I was interested in it. And so I invested in it and kind of watched it grow up from the first shovel of dirt being moved around and and then saw that the buildings going up, the amenities being put in, and I liked what I saw. And then eventually I decided, well, I think I'm gonna be besides investing in the unit, uh, in the project that I would purchase a, a unit. Uh, and the answer to the second part of your question, uh, yeah, I bought it. Uh, more or less to help alleviate some of my space concerns in my house. But I have another place to put my RV and open up, you know, uh, and trade my car trailer and so forth and open up some room in my in my downtown house. Let's put it that way. That's great. So it's uh, kind of served more than one purpose for you. Yes. That's fantastic. Um, so aside from the storage and the RV park use aspect of Riverbound, um, you mentioned, uh, you know, the amenities. Is there anything other than the storage and the RV component at Riverbound that kind of drew you in? Um, you know, the store, the amenities, the fuel pumps. Is there any other highlight that you could share with the audience that, you know, kind of persuaded you to go ahead and pull the trigger and buy a unit at Riverbound? Um yeah, I mean, all the amenities you are great. I mean, not just the store and the driving range and all of that stuff, which I all like all of that stuff. You, you don't uh, commonly f find that kind of stuff in a campground uh, or a storage area for that matter. And this is a combination of both which really got my interest going. Um, I, I don't know if I have any more to say on that or not. I uh, you know, I just I just like like what I saw going up, and I and I feel it's only you know from information that's coming now with the second phase and the new one you're starting in Idaho, it's only going to get better. Yeah, um, oh, that's great feedback. Thank you so much for that. Um, on the Idaho project, uh, we just had our uh, city council meeting, and the uh, city council, the staff, and the mayor, uh, they had a four to one vote to approve. Uh, the project. So we are uh, working on our grading designs right now, and uh, we are hopeful that by the end of the year, we'll have some heavy equipment out there moving some dirt around. So we're pretty excited about that. I think it'll serve as a nice trade-off uh, from a season standpoint for folks that are, you know, I guess doesn't matter part-time or full-time RVers, you know, when it gets, you know, 110 or 120 degrees in Havasu during the summertime, you know they can uproot and go to our secondary location in Idaho. So we're right. pretty, yeah we're uh, we're pretty excited and vice versa when it gets cold in Idaho during the winter time they can uh, uproot and head back to uh, Riverbound and Havasu. So um, yeah uh, track our progress on that. We're pretty excited about it and things are moving in a very positive direction. So um, with your purchase at Riverbound, could you share with the audience how the buying process was? I know that you went through our um, our real estate agents and i think it would be important for the audience to know how uh, how that process was could you uh share some details on that phil well i went through scott you know, the realtor on site yeah he's a great guy the best i can say about the whole process is it was a piece of cake uh with, with whipped cream topping <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that that's good. I mean, you didn't feel pressured or anything like that. I mean, you know, Scott obviously took good care of you, but the paperwork and the process and, you know, sometimes when you buy, you know, a new piece of property or something like that, it can be a little strenuous. So, uh, you know, we work really hard to kind of simplify that process. So it's good to know that it was pretty easy for you, right? Yeah, if you're trying to compare it to be, you know, buying a used car, it wasn't anything like that. There was no pressure at all. It was, you know, just a very, a very nice uh, situation to be in, really. Yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for that, Phil. Um, now you've been, uh, how long have you owned your RV for? How long have you been an RVer? Oh, this, this current RV I have now, I bought in 2002, I believe it was. I've had this one for a while. Before that, I had two fifth wheel trailers and then I started out with just a, you know, a, a pickup truck with a sliding camper. So I've been doing it camping like that since the uh, early seventies. Oh, okay, great. So uh, I guess it's fair to say that you've been to more than one RV park or campground in your day. You betcha. <laughs> um, would you share with the audience, um, what do you think separates Riverbound from other RV parks that you might have stayed at before? What sticks out the most with our facility compared to, you know, your conventional RV park or campground? What? When I used to, to travel a lot, I used because I belong to service clubs, some of which have RV facilities, elks, moose, that type of thing. And I tried to stay with them as much as I could. Mm -hmm. In some places, there weren't any. And uh, even though even though they're good good Sam rated uh, five star places to go, they don't, in my opinion, don't. Oh, Compare with what, what we got going out there. I mean, uh, you know, every every RP park has a swimming pool and a hot tub, and a, you know, and most of them have a small store that you can buy a quart of milk and a fishing lure, maybe you know, but that's about it. Uh, out, out there, if you were a full timer, you wouldn't even really have to leave the facility. You, you could buy all you need right in the store. Uh, you know, and you've got stuff to do. You can play pickleball, you can play basketball, you can practice your golf game. I mean, all of that stuff. Don't see it at other other places. And and then the bonus is you own it. Yep. Yeah, that's uh that is definitely a bonus. Um, so I guess what you're trying to say is that uh once we get our phase two amenities in with um a laundromat, a fitness center, and a restaurant. You probably it doesn't sound like you'd have to leave the riverbound premises. Exactly, that was going to be one of my comments for a later question. Is that after phase two gets there with the restaurant and and uh, you know the other the, the laundromat and all of that, yeah, it'd be self-contained. You, you know, the only reason you want to go downtown is if there was a show you wanted to see or you know a live performance or something like that. Sure. What uh, what kind of improvements have you made to the inside of your unit? Well, I, I really haven't done anything yet. I was waiting for the epoxy floor to be put down before I tried to do anything else. A couple of days ago, I got a call from the, the garage company saying that they were installing the, the epoxy floor. So that was good timing. <laughs> and uh, I've already got my car trailer loaded with stuff, you know, my refrigerator, my kitchen and stuff, and everything I'm going to move out there. And uh, I've got, got my uh, a guy lined up to uh, cut through and get my sewer line hooked up, and then uh, another resident out there that's a plumber is going to uh, install that for me. And and then uh, one of one of the clerks that works at the store, her husband does framing. So I mean, I, I, even all the all of that kind of stuff, I can pretty much find everything out there for residents. So that's that's another nice, nice thing there. And, and everybody, everybody that's out there that I've met is so friendly and willing to help new new people just getting out there. So. Oh, that's great! So uh, the the community is um, is nice and friendly. Oh yeah, yeah. All the ones I you know I obviously haven't met everybody, but the ones I have met, it's it's, it's great. You know, and then there's a lot of people that hang out in the store and have coffee there and all that. You know, in the morning and stuff like that, or you know they have a a daily lunch special out there, whether it's soup or chili or something like that. And a bunch of people who hang out out there and, you know, and BS and all that stuff. And yeah, it's really a relaxed, cool atmosphere. 
Oh, that's great. Um, what would you say to folks that are on the fence about buying a unit at Riverbound? You know, I'm sure there's a handful of folks out there that have passed by or they've gone in and, you know, they've looked at a unit, they've, you know, looked at the facility, but they just haven't pulled the trigger. You know, they're on the fence, they're 50-50 about making the move. What would you say to them as, um, as a tenant at Riverbound? Is there any advice or anything that you would say to somebody like that, Phil? Yeah, I, I'd say uh, get the hell off the fence. You know, what are you waiting for? Uh, <laughs> pull the trigger now before, well, in this economy right now, everything's going up because of, now I'm going to get political, but I will. Uh, with the current leadership, nothing but inflation is happening and stuff. So, you know, get now, I, you might not be able to afford it later. And uh, uh, you're going to make money on it because it's going to go up to, as well that'd be a, a good investment i guess is what you're saying oh yeah yeah that's exactly what i'm saying yeah all right that's great uh that's that's awesome feedback um okay uh last question here um on a scale one to ten how would you rate our staff and hospitality at riverbound well i'd be lying if i didn't say it was a 10. <laughs> I haven't met, you know, it's, it's mainly the staff uh, in in the store, and and then you know Tiffany, the manager, and and they're they're all ten in my book. Uh, I haven't met, you know, the gardeners and all that stuff, but the way they take care of stuff that I've seen, I, they're probably ten too. I don't know, but the, the people I've met, just outstanding folks. Yeah, well, that's a that's a that's a big one that we focus on is our management. Um, you know, you don't want to get into a, a scenario where you, you know, you buy into a facility and, you know, they don't take care of it or they don't upkeep it. So we really do try hard to, you know, keep a nice, clean facility. Um, so that's good to know that, you know, you're pleased with um, our maintenance and our staff. That's uh, kind of a big one in our book. And we're really focused on on keeping that strong. So, um all right, great. Well, Phil, this has been awesome. Is there any other comments that you'd like to make about your unit or the park or the location of Riverbound? Uh, any any closing remarks? Yeah, I, I have a couple of things that really aren't listed in your sales brochure out there that uh, kind of some of them sealed the deal for me also is, you know, I'm a, I'm a gearhead and I like anything that's got a motor in it. And uh, <laughs> I like I like the fact that well this is coming up now in, in next month it's going to be your third annual car show and you always guys throw a big bash out there and open to the public and come in you have uh, you know your uh, uh, I'm having a brain here your uh, oh uh, the beer the beer company like it's your local company you have their truck out there and then you throw a barbecue or some other thing, and it, it's a fantastic thing. And you do other stuff during the year too, for uh, other types of activities. But uh, you know, it it's, it shows that you guys want to be part of the community, and, and you go out of your way to to do that. Absolutely, uh, that's a that, that's a good point. The events at Riverbound are certainly a lot of fun. Um, this year, uh, we've got uh, barbecue bandits. Uh, they're going to be out there with a nice big barbecue truck. We'll have Mud Shark, who I think is the one that you were uh, talking about. Um, yep. Yep. And uh, we'll have some live entertainment. We'll have prizes and all kinds of fun stuff. So, um, well, we're anxious to see you out there on November the 19th. I think it'll be a fun day in the neighborhood. And, uh, you know, Phil, I'd really like to say thank you again for taking the time to uh, share your thoughts uh, about your experience at Riverbound. Uh, we're very grateful for you. And if there's anything that we can ever do for you, uh, just be sure and let us know.